Hi guys, Mr Cox, live from Woolworth School, I hope you're all well. Um, I'm in not my own lab, so uh, bonus kudos if you can guess whose lab this is. Um, point of this session, it's a really quick one, is to remind you about the real basics of chemistry, building equations, cameras over, uh, and you then turn that into a balance equation, and we use that using kind of a diagram technique. Um, first thing we do though, is going to do a little practical that we can then use to actually build an equation from. So, if you haven't seen this one before, I very much doubt you've been in my lessons. Uh, so here's our good old friend ethanol. This is a type of alcohol. It is the one that you can drink without killing it. Um, so our ethanol is a liquid fuel. And we have our good old water bottle. Uh, ethanol uh, is mostly made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, inside this bottle we have currently not very much. Let's start. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so in here we have our fuel, which is ethanol, and also we have a of gases in there for the important one for us, of course, oxygen. So remember in chemistry, if you want to create a wide equation, everything on the left side of the arrow are called your reactants. So our reactants are oxygen and ethanol for this reaction. Uh, I've given that a bit of a shake, which I always do, because this is a fairly volatile chemical, meaning it will evaporate quite easily, and I want the gas to react, not the liquid. Because I was just, if I just pour this on the table and set fire to it, it would burn very deep. So, give this a little shimmy shake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, hopefully at this point, we've got less liquid in there and more gas. I'll probably just give that another few seconds. We will then uh, pop that down again. Just block the top so the vapor doesn't drop out at the moment. And the name of any type of reaction where you are burning something, the proper name is of course combustion. So, reason we need to obviously apply a little bit of energy, they are, you've got molecules of oxygen in there and you've got molecules of ethanol bumping to each other, but they're not bumping too fast enough. So, the idea being, we put the heat in, add a bit of activation energy, and we should get the reaction to go. Okay, three, two, one, fingers crossed, fire arms off, let's hope. And that's the ball. Okay guys, so we have a look at our two games. So we've done our reaction in the bottom here. What have we made? And you should all know this, but I think what we started with in chemistry, golden rule, you can only make stuff out of the atoms you had to start with. So I had ethanol, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, reactive oxygen gas. So the only things I can make must contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So little evidence, what we made. In here there's something, let's prove the point, we pour it out. It's a clear liquid doesn't really smell, it's water. So there's our hydrogens and some of our oxygens. We then got to think we've made another chemical that must have had carbon in it. So, carbon, if I had carbon in it, it'd be like, sort of, like coal dust, and clearly I haven't got any of that, so it's something with carbon in it that is invisible and floats away. Therefore, logically, what we must have made is carbon dioxide. So we now know our word equation is ethanol plus oxygen makes water and carbon dioxide. Now we just need to look at how we turn that into a simple equation, and how we balance it. Okay, we go. So, we're going to now turn our results into a word equation, a symbol equation, and we're going to balance it, and we're going to use a picture method. Okay, so, we already did the word equation. Reactants, ethanol, oxygen. The arrow turns us what we're now taking into our products, and we have already decided that we've made that gas called carbon dioxide, and water. Okay. And I know the chemical forms of those, so it's carbon dioxide is CO2, and I'm all going to H2O. And in any exam question, if, it's, if, they, if you're needing to know a chemical formula, they will give it to you. Okay, so, what I've started to do here, uh, just to try and help you make explain the difference where numbers, what they mean, we're going to use the little picture method. So, on this side, I've already prepacked it, so there's my ethanol molecule, so it's got two carbons, one oxygen and six hydrogens around it, and there's our oxygen molecule. Now I'm going to do the same. For my products. So we make CO2. CO2 has one carbon attached to two oxygens, hence why there's a two next to the oxygen, it applies to only the oxygen. Water, H2O, we've got another oxygen, 
that's too high, Jim. So I'm trying to use the same colours. So there's our good old water molecule. Now, key thing in chemistry, law of conservation of mass. Whatever amount of stuff you start with is the amount of stuff you finish with. So this is true for every single atom. So if I start with two carbons, I have to finish with two carbons. The numbers of each thing needs to be the same. So two words really important because we get mixed up. These individual things are atoms. So that is a carbon atom, that's an oxygen atom, that's a hydrogen atom. The larger things I've built are called molecules. So that is one molecule of ethanol made up of multiple different atoms. Okay, so, because that matters, where we put numbers things, are we talking about atoms, are we talking about molecules? Numbers within your chemical formula, if you attach to a single atom like that, that means the number of that particular atom. When you're balancing, the only place you're going to put numbers are where I'm putting these lines in front of these things. They are your numbers of those molecules, the lots of. Okay, so, I'll process the balancing there. Let's have a look at the now. Good advice is always start with the uh, elements that are in the fewest places. So oxygen, you can see, is there, 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 and there. I'll do that lot. So I'm going to choose to start with carbon. This side there is two carbons. On this side there must be two carbons. All I can do is have more water or more CO2. So in this case, logically, if I want two carbons, I give myself another molecule of carbon dioxide, one carbon atom, attached to two oxygen atoms, that's now my two molecules. The way in chemistry in a formula you sit, I'm drawing this so you can see the difference. If you were just in a chemical exam, if you put a two there, that means two lots of the molecule, two lots of CO2. Okay, so I've solved part of my problem. I now need to think about all the other atoms I need to get right. So in this case, I'm now going to do my hydrogens next. So remember, oxygen is going to be the most complicated one. So hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on this side, there must be six of them. So logically, a little bit of mass. Each water's got two. I need six of them. Two times three is six. So I need three of these things. So I give myself there's my hydrogens. There's my oxygens. Three molecules of water. Again, the easy way of writing that chemistry, you put three in front of it. It's a multiplier. Three lots this chemical. Okay, I'm almost done now. I've got one more atom that I need to make sure is right. So, let's have a quick look. Oxygen, so let's have a look. On this side, I've currently got one, two, and three. On this side, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I need to then go a bit of like, oh, how do I get those numbers the same? Clearly, I don't want to have more of that because that'll mess everything up. So, I want some more of these. So, I'll just try one more and then we can see if that works. So, one, two, three, four, five. On this side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's not enough. Maybe I need another one. I'll draw another one. Balancing equations is a little bit of trial and error. So doing a double check again. Oxygens, I'm now up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the reactants. And on the products, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I have balanced my equation. Again, three molecules, therefore that puts a three there. And importantly, in chemistry, you can imagine if you want that there is an invisible one there. In chemistry, we are lazy. We never have ones, therefore we can just ignore that. No number means one. And that is our process using diagrams to balance an equation. Thanks, guys. And there will now be a little bit of a worksheet that you can open that will have some practice for you. See you soon.